You will play as one of the villains in order to earn your living the hard way. Each character possesses its own special ability as well as victory condition. The secret identity you get at the start of the game will force you to strategize according to the given challenge. Before the game starts, each player will receive a box for the coins as well as an envelope. Each envelope contains a roll card which indicates player winning condition as well as their secret ability. It will also contain two evidence cards, one which indicates that a serious crime was committed and second one indicating no evidence against the player. Alpha roll evidence cards will differ from the regular ones. All rolls place their evidence cards in front of them on the covered side always making sure that innocence cards are on the top of the pile as the game starts. Each player takes 3 coins to put in the treasury and 5 sabotage tokens that are placed in front of player each player's side. Coin tokens will have a picture of gold on both sides. Sabotage tokens have the red cross printed on the one side and gold on another. Divide the number of players by 2 and round it up from 6 security system cards, choose that many randomly and place them in the center of the table. Place exposure cards, exposure tokens and remaining coins where they can be easily accessed by all players within the arm reach. Special killer tokens and additional 5 exposure tokens for the assassin character should be covered by a small box so no player can know when they are being used if those rolls are in game. The game starts with a night phase. Day phase. At the beginning of which all players start with choosing one of their action cards in secret. After all players decide on their action card, at the same time they reveal their intentions for that turn. Some actions such as accusing and following additionally require pointing out the player that the owner specifically wants to target during their action. If player that decided to follow or accuse a turn fails to point one person to target, they lose their action this time. Gather the resources and install a security system actions always take place first at the same time for all players. Then all players that decided to follow take their turn in any order. At the end of the phase, all players who are eligible to do so make their accusations towards players they initially chose. All players that are eligible to accuse during the turn perform their action in any or random order. One player can be accused several times during one turn for different crimes. Alpha roles are directly brought to the court. If you have intention of accusing for headhunter, the traitor, or incitement roles, you name the roles directly after your turn starts and proceed to the resolve part of the court phase. Day phase finishes with all players placing one coin from the treasury in front of them, if they have any coins left of course. After that the players decide who in the group should start the night phase. At the night the turn order does not affect the gameplay. After that everyone closes their eyes except the chosen player preparing for the dangerous night phase. Night phase during which all players choose to perform one action in secret. After the active player, who is the only person allowed to keep their eyes open, performs the turn, they verbally inform the player on their left to indicate the turn starts now and they become an active player instead. Note that all players who decide to hide that night cannot be targeted by any actions during that phase. Players are forbidden to check their own role and evidence cards at night when they're active. Players can actively walk around the table to perform their malicious intentions. Night actions available. Sabotage. Choose one player and swap their coin token that is placed in front of them with one of the sabotage tokens you possess. You are not allowed to look at the bottom of the coin token at any time to discover whether that player has already been sabotaged. Place the swap token at the bottom of your sabotage token pile and end your turn. Special crime. Perform your secret ability and swap your evidence cards, placing the guilty one at the top of the pile. Inspect. View a security system of any player without being affected by it. Hide evidence can only be performed by players who decided to hide during their last day phase. You can swap your evidence card for the innocent one at the top of your pile. If you still have one, 
You can also discard your exposure cards if one affects you. Kill. If any player has an active exposure card on their side, you can choose to eliminate them by tapping them on the shoulder. After you wake them up, indicate your intentions, place guilty cards on the top of your evidence pile, and end your turn. Kill players in front of everybody that were killed at the end of the night phase, not during it. After each player performs the turn, everyone opens their eyes to check whether their coin token was swapped with a sabotage one. No matter of outcome, each player must place the token in their treasury. Then each player checks for any special tokens in their box, as some characters are eligible to put them into other players' treasury through the top hole in secret. Each player resolves each token effect individually. Each player must check the position of the evidence cards as well as the roll cards they have, as they might have changed after the night phase. Also, if any player has no coins left in their treasury, they land on the street and have to draw an exposure card on their side. After each effect gets resolved, all players can freely talk about their observations, whether they were sabotaged that night, what they did during the last turn, and what they're planning to do during the next day phase. Of course, everybody is encouraged to lie. Player's death or arrest. After a player gets arrested or killed at night, they must discard all security systems that do not return to the drawing pile. Do they not participate in the game anymore, but they must not communicate with any players till the game is finished. They do not reveal their roll card, treasury content, evidence pile, order or upgrades they had. If player got arrested during the court accusation case, other players will naturally know that person's role as the outcome of revealing it. Security systems. After a player successfully buys the security system, it gets placed next to that player's roll cards on the covered side. Each time any player decides to target another player that has a security system installed, this includes both night and day phase, they need to look at the security card to check if their attack can backfire at them. Targeted actions include accusing, following, killing, targeting with a special ability, and sabotaging. Inspecting is a targeted action, but allows players to safely check for hostile security systems of other players. The security card needs to be checked every time before performing a targeted action, but the card doesn't necessarily have to affect an attacking player. In that case, the security card comes back to the attack player placed on the covered side and for the attacking player the turn continues as normal. If the security system card affects the targeting player, they need to resolve its effect before performing their action, provided that the security card doesn't completely counter the attempted attack. Greed characters will win the game if they possess at least 10 coins at the end of the day phase. Seer characters at the end of the day phase can choose to reveal their roll card and then name every single roll card of each player, including eliminated ones. If they make no mistake, they win the game. Otherwise, the game continues as normal, with them having the roll completely exposed. Killer characters aim to be the only one alive at the end of the game to win. Alpha characters have no special knight abilities, but both of the evidence cards will always appear as innocent. Finding the alpha characters should be the top priority for all other players. End of game. The game ends immediately after a player claims that their win condition was fulfilled. If more than one player claimed their win at the same time, they share the victory, unless the alpha character interaction interfere with it. If there are two players left at any point of the game, and one character holds the killer role, they immediately claim the win.